Good morning, everyone. You're very good morning. Shall we begin? Uh, yes. Last in the last class, we are finished with the assessment and the evaluation, and today. Yes, the, right. The same topic: how we can assess ourselves, how we can assess anyone else. Okay, so we should wait for at least yeah five minutes. <laughs> So any doubts, anyone in this, uh, in the last class that is assessment and the evaluation? So when you talk about the assessment, that means assessing someone, or assessing the material that you prepare, judging, yes. Then evaluation, that means evaluate whether that material will be correct or not. For example, best example, you submit the assignment to me. I will assess that assignment if that assignment is fine or as per the records or as per the suitability of the yes as per the requirement it has or not then evaluate that means gives the marks or marking scheme to you so this assessment and the evaluation method needs to reflect the learning goals of the programs that must be included or that method must include reflective assess of the reports learning logs and portfolios including the action plans then group or individual projects then direct assessment of the CVs application interviews then it written examination that is yeah like in schools there should be a written examination In the same way, when you talk about the logs and the portfolio, that is similar to the assignment that you submitted, including the action plan. If you see, there is a learning outcome action plan given in the assignment. That helps in evaluating, that helps in assess assessing the material. And where the focus is upon the personal information, so attention is focused not on the content, but on the quality of the analysis and the articulation. And these assessment, these qualification that may be used for the formative purpose only and some may use simple pass fail classification and some may use a degrees. For example, your course contains only the grades, not marks, non yes, only the grades, either A1, C, D1. That is a reference in any married path distinction is a different thing that also comes under the category of the grades. Then evaluation is the effectiveness or it is a one of the main of the effectiveness of the career development learning programs. And again, there are two parts in this in response or in relation to the output or in relation to the outcomes. Example, career thoughts, career decision making skills, career decidedness, 88% positive gains, 12% no changes. Outcomes, 9 of the 11 studies measuring the such outcomes reported the positive gains and 2 reported no changes. Then center also used for the career development skills that is also compulsory for the university growth the university student that is currently connect, conducting a research program that is examining the next is the subjective outcomes that outcomes include self-efficiency perceived control adjustment life satisfaction before during and after the transition into the employment then impact on the vocational preferences, then objective or outcomes two years after the graduation, that is the entry to the graduate level. Now next is how the career services can help. Or how we are using the career services, how it can help us, how it can help the others for making their careers. 
So your kind of night suggests in many of the cases a preferred way of enhancing an institution contribution that is used that provides a way how it is used and what is the better or best method to evaluate or to judge what are the various career service oriented or what are the various career services within the higher education institution that may also vary in the size that may also use with the different sizes. 6.1 is changing your of the career services. So this yoke suggests that in many of the cases the preferred way of enhancing institution contribution to a student employability is to strengthen the career services, increase the career services. Although the impact that is given is totally different, that will be muted if the service lacks a curriculum presence. Mm -hmm. Similarly, when we comment on the growing recognition by the institution that is used to develop a long-term integrating strategies for the employability, that includes closer links between central services and the program-based initiatives. And the, these career services within the higher education institution also vary considerably in their size and in the role they carried out and in their organization location within that institution only. Their traditional course, yeah, their traditional role call has been given to manage the choices and the transition. That means it is used to manage their choice, their transition. Transition means converting from one place to another or conversion from one place to another. They need to make an exit from their course of study. And the services, core activities has been or have traditionally compromised. That includes the individual and the group guidance, information services, employer liaison and the placement services. And the criticism of such services has been made tendency to offer to the new, new trends of the literature, new offers to the new trends in which it will be used with most of the services significantly lower proportion that were likely to have it used it. And the letter includes those who perceived or those who achieved poor degrees, mature students, students from the lower socioeconomic groups and the art students. And there has been accordingly been growing pressures on the career services also to target their services at such groups. And over targeting is also one of the problems. So alternative approach is to ad adopt new approaches to service for reasons to all the students. That means neither above neither below that means a moderate scenario will be given to it and certainly the nature of the career services also core have a change or have seen has changed dramatically in many of the institutions individual and the group guidance is now increasing based on the short intervention and the group activities rather than the long guidance interviews and when we uh, say about the ICT that is growing 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 nowadays ICT means, yes, information and the communication technology. Then include, include the strategic use of the website and the e-guidance to extend access to the services. And the greater attention has been paid to quality assurance of the services, including accreditation against the metrics quality standards. In addition to this, around the traditional core activities, many services have developed a range of the other activities also, and some of which have a potential for radically changing the nature and structure of the service. And a review of the strategic directions for higher education career services also identified a number of the options, four of which were based on the stronger embedding within that institution within the institution. So that services will be employed, that, that data will be employed as an embedding within that institution only. Then uh, what are the four options that is available? First is the integrated guidance model in which the career service becomes an integral part of a continuous guidance process available to the students pre-entry, on entry and throughout the students' data courses as well as then ex exit from it. That is the integrated guidance model.
the integrated placement model in which the career services or career service concern for the placement on graduation that also becomes a part of the integrated placement operation which also includes course related placements and the placement into the part time and the vacations job and the curriculum model last one is curriculum model sorry third one is curriculum model first is integrated guidance then placement then curriculum model then the learning organization model in which the career service service becomes part of a service designed to foster the or to increase the career development of all the members of the staff including the contract researchers and other staffs as well as their students so one is integrated guidance model one is integrated placement model one is a curricular model one is a learning organization model and each have a significant structure and the resourcing of implications that is every everything that has or everything every model or each of these parts have a significant structure and the resources application resourcing applications and implications and the contention is that these models are not compatible with one another but there are some intentions between them that means beyond a certain level of provision they also require some degree of the structural separation or the separation and after this model models the curriculum model is also one of the main concern of this paper of this module because when we talk about the curriculum that means a syllabus syllabus means a design or consultancy service that is designed to support the academic part and this curriculum model also redefines the prime function of the higher education that is given and this also informs the better informed students who are self reliant able to plan and also manage their own learning and have also sound career management skills and it also added that career management skills or the career services having the key roles in delivering or helping the tutors to deliver aspects of the curriculum for example when i talk about the student or the career management skills that arranges the work experience and also encourages the student to get more 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 motivated on the account of the data efficiency and the follow ups to the uh, harris committee report that found that the quarter of the institutions are good that the partnership or with with the academic department in contributing also embed the cms that is the career management skills development and 76% in the embedding career management skills in the curriculum so this growth also contributes to the personal development planning that also strengthen the curriculum role of career services in a group of the institution in number of the institutions and the harris committee also suggested that or stated that the individual academic department must lead responsibility in helping student to compile their progress file compile their career services that also plays an important role in ensuring that the progress file is viewed not and in itself but also tool to aid the successful planning and the progression and in practice little and the asked colleagues report that in many higher education institutions pdp and career development are viewed as an integrated process rather than the separate activities with the career services with the career development that also takes the lead role in the delivery in the progress file in the career services so when you talk about the academic department on the individual academic department that also must lead to the responsibility in helping the students to compile their progress file but career services have also important role to play in ensuring that the progress file is viewed not as an end in itself but also a tool to aid in successful planning and the progression and in practice little and the escape colleagues report that in many higher education or educational institution pdp and the career development has also viewed as an integrated process rather than the separate activities so they are viewed as a personal development planning and the career development skills that are also viewed as an integrated process that means they combine with each other they execute with each other rather than the separate activities or entity with the career services that takes a lead role in delivery 
and the organizational location of the career services that also remains an important issue they can be aligned with other student services with academic services or with the marketing services or organized on a standalone basis so this depends either they use in the collaboration either they used on a standalone basis and it also um, we can say judge that 53 of the institutions having the career services located in the student services and 14% are under the teaching and the learning. And if I'm talking about in the longer term, that is a long straight, uh, a long, long duration, career development learning becomes widely embedded within the higher education as a part of the core curriculum. And the course levels, this could have been considerable Im implications or importance for the a structural position of the career services within that institutions. The impossibility is also mentioned by this one includes providing the curriculum consultancy and support within that traditional career service model along with the traditional functions. It also includes curriculum, it also includes consultancy, it also includes support. That means three are combined with each other. Three are much with each other within the traditional career service model. Then he structuring the career services as an academic service rather than a student service and then the career service becoming or existing alongside as a teaching unit focusing on the career management as an academic discipline in, in which a research, research can be conducted. So research conduct means that fulfill the requirement that fulfill the academic discipline that fulfill that how the research will be conducting in the management or the career management skills as an ongoing basis. Then models of the partnership with the teaching department. So attitudes within that teaching department to the need for the career development learning and to whom the responsibility is to provide such learning tend to vary depending on the nature of the course. To depend on the nature of the course, that learning will be provided, that teaching will be provided, that, that responsibility will be given within that learning only. And within that vocational courses which are linked to a specific occupation that is required as an essential for entry to and also providing the preparatory training for that occupation for that uh, either that is used with a machine medicine architecture next is the semi-vocational next is the non-vocational that is common for a student to enter a wide range of the occupations the department is likely to view the career development learning as well as the prime responsibility of the career services that is a non-vocational course. So one is a vocational that is linked to a specific occupation. Semi-vocational that is provides a wide, wide range of the occupation. Then non-vocational that is common for the students. Either you use a IT line, either you use a management line, whatever line that you want to use. Vocational, semi-vocational, non-vocational. And there are a number of different models for the respective roles of the career management and the teaching department that also delivers the career development learning. That includes specialist, consultancy, parallel delivery, integrated. That tend to support, that tend to use the undertaking department, undertaking the groups that also use for the planning group, material development, and informal start development. Next is integrated, the academic staff and the career advisors work as a joint course team. That they work together in a collaboration. And such models have considerable implications for the staffing of the career services and for the competences required by the staff. In addition to this, there are also the brokerage role that are also expected to play the role as the teacher and the academic leaders. This requires a great pedagogic or pedagogic knowledge and the skill that they usually had in the past and the growing understanding of the career development or the stronger grounding in the career development theory not only as a theoretical basis for the own professional practice. 
but also as a knowledge for teach to, to teach to the students at the past of part of the student's career development training then academic empathy that also use collaboration with the distinct context and the role last part of this is academic empathy the, the that works in order to work in order to make the work efficiently effectively with the distinct context and the cultures of different teaching departments and the disciplines and a number of institutions have already taken place or taken the steps to respond to these change requirement what are the various change requirement that is occupied that will be carried out within the context that will be carried out within the um, uh, content of the data saved and the stronger grounding is also uh, depends on the career management theory not only as a theoretical basis for their professional practice but also as a body of the knowledge for them to teach to the students as a part of the teach students career development learning next is greater pedagogic knowledge and the skills that have been usually had in the past that contains the information and the profit role that now be or they now be expected to play the roles of the teachers and the academic leaders Now next part is the conclusion part. I'm going to take in the next class that is in the tomorrow's class. So is there in uh, sorry not tomorrow's class in the Monday's class. So if there is any doubts, any clarification, you can ask the doubts regarding this, regarding any module, regarding the assignment that you want to ask. Yeah, anything? The yeah, main focus is on the career development, career skills, employment capability, employment opportunities. Main focus in, is on these things, these materials, these uh, terms or reviews. So last part is conclusion that is taken in the next class in the Monday's class. All right.